Hi everyone. In this video, we discuss variables in Java. Before start today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last session. What is class file and what it contains? Is byte code same as machine code? What is the use of JVM? What are the components of JVM? What are JRE and JDK? What is the relation among JVM, JRE and JDK? Different platforms are editions of Java. After completion of watching this video, you will be able to know what is identifier, what is variable, what is the syntax to create a variable, can we assign multiple values to a single variable? Can we assign one variable value to another variable? Before starts the variable concept, let us try to understand about identifier concept. A name in a Java program is called an identifier. That name can be a class name or method name or package name or variable name also. Identifier is a user defined name. You can give any name by following some rules. Example, int space number 1 assignment 20 semicolon. In this, number 1 is a variable name that is an identifier. Then how can we frame the identifier? For that, we need to follow some rules. The rules are, while framing the identifier, we can use any alphabet that may be a lowercase letter or uppercase letter and you can use the digits from 0 to 9 and only two special symbols are allowed in Java. Those are underscore and dollar symbol. Except to this, we should not use anything while framing the identifier. See the example, number one is a valid identifier because I am using only alphabets and numbers. In the second example, my identifier name is at the rate number. It is invalid because I am using a special symbol at the rate which is not in the given set. You should not use any special symbol except underscore and dollar. An identifier name can begin with a letter or an underscore only. It should not start with a digit. See the example. One number. Here the identifier name or variable name start with a digit. It is invalid. An identifier name in Java is case sensitive. The Java treats lowercase is different and uppercase is different. See this example. Number NUM. In this N is capital. And this is also number. But here all are capital letters. This is also a NUM that is number. But here M only is a capital. But Java treats all these are completely different. That is the meaning of identifier names or case sensitive. We cannot use keywords as an identifier. Keyword is a word which has a reserved meaning. We will discuss about the keyword topics later on. But as of now, just remember what are the keywords we have in the Java. We should not use those keywords as an identifier. If we use that, you will get an error. See the example, if assignment 10, if is my identifier, my variable name, but it is invalid because if is an a keyword. See one more example for assignment 94. Here for is also a keyword. Then what is variable? We use memory to store the data in any programming language. If you want to store the data, we use the concept of variables. The major purpose of the variable is to store the data. Memory is a collection of the different cells and every cell has a unique address. Instead of remembering that unique address or complex address where we have stored our information or data, we can give a name to that address. In other words, variable is the name of the memory cell which is used to store a value of any type. Then how to create and assign the value to a variable? Syntax, first we need to write the data type. We will discuss about the data type concept in the coming sessions. As of now, just remember the syntax, data type, space, variable name, 
assignment value what is the value you want to store in that variable you must write the value see the example int is my data type whenever you want to store any numerical values into your variable we must write the data type as integer you should not write the complete word integer in this case number one is the integer type variable i am assigning the integer value 10. now let us understand what's happening internally when we are writing this statement this is the primary memory so primary memory or ram is a collection of the different cells let us assume this is one of the cells every cell has a unique address so as a developer this is very difficult to remember this unique address for that unique address we are giving a name for the easy identification that is nothing but variable name in this example for this cell i am giving a name number one num1 when we assign the value 10 that value 10 will be stored within this memory cell so if you observe this is the primary memory within that we have the different cells in that one cell we are storing the value 10 and for that cell we are giving a name that is a variable so when we write this statement internally these will be happened value of the variable can be changed if you want to modify a variable value we can do that for example if we write in a program int number one assignment 10 after some statements i want to change the value of the number one for that we can write number one assignment 20 the value will be updated with 20 the existing value 10 will be overridden with the new value 20 when we write int number one assignment 10 a cell will be allocated and in that we store the value 10 after some statements when we write number one assignment 20 within the same cell within the number one cell the value updated with 20 the existing value 10 will be deleted we can assign single value to the multiple variables in the single line we can do that by using the single statement like data type space variable names x assignment y assignment z assignment 30 now the value 30 will be stored in all three variables so as we discussed we can change the value of the variable but if you want to prevent the changes if you want to make a variable value is read only we can do that also by using the keyword final see the example final data type int variable name x assignment 30 if you write this even though you are trying to change the value of the variable x it will raise an error because we are using the keyword final that means the value of the x is final fixed so we are not allowed to change the value then we can assign one variable value to the another variable also see the example integer number one assignment 20 number two here i am assigning the value to the number one but number two is only declared we are not assigning any value for that so when we write this statement a cell will be created for that we are giving the name number one and the value stored is 20 and a empty cell is created for this number two there is no value in the number two at this point number two assignment number one so what is the value we had will be assigned to the number two what is the value we have in the number one 20 the same thing will be copied into number two so now in the number one and number two the value available is 20. now see the implementation for the points what we discussed as of now first one is we can assign the value by using the syntax data type variable name assignment and the value here my variable name is a and one more important point in java if you want to write any program using the class is compulsory without class we cannot write any program in the java so first is class class name and within the class i am writing the main method that is public static void main string args already we discussed the complete structure what is static what is main why we need to write the main what is string if you didn't watch that please watch that and continue this then only it will be more clear to you then in this example i am declaring a variable and assigning the value to that variable a now i want to print that value by using System dot out dot print LM. Now let us execute this. Change the directory where you saved your file. After that, 
first step is you must compile the program by using java c space your file name dot java press enter after compilation to run the program you must type java space file name then press enter so 20 is our output see the program so we stored 20 we can store the value we can print the value that is first point so next point we discussed is we can modify the variable value first i store the value 20 in the variable a after some statements i want to change the value let us check is it work or not let us try to execute that first step is compilation then run it now you can observe 20 50 we assign the value 20 and we print that that is a 20 and after that we modify the value of a and that is the reason we are getting 50 also next point we can assign one variable value to the another variable also for that see this example we declared two variables and first variable number one we store the value 20 and number two there is no value in that first i want to print the value of number one so 20 will be printed after that i am assigning the number one value that is 20 to the number two also then for the confirmation i want to print the number two value also then let us try to execute this compile it then run it 20 20 number one value 20 we can assign to the number two also in number one number two same value will be available now next point we can assign a single value to the multiple variables by using the single line here we declared three variables i want to assign 10 to the multiple variables x y z after that for the confirmation i want to print the values of x y z let us try to execute this let us compile first then run it now you can observe the output is 10 10 10 so x value y value z value now see this example we discussed we can use the symbol dollar also in the identifier name in this example my variable name is symbol dollar i am assigning the value and then i want to print that value let us check compile it first then execute see now the value is 10 we are getting the value 10 whenever we are using the symbol dollar so we can use dollar symbol also check your knowledge what have you learnt from this video what is an identifier what is variable what is the syntax to create a variable can we assign multiple values to a single variable can we assign one variable value to the another variable? If this video is useful to you, subscribe the channel, watch and share it. Thank you.